A group of American prisoners released by Iran have arrived back in the United States after months of secret negotiations between the two countries. The U.S. and Iran freed five citizens each. Each, the Americans returned home on a flight from Qatar, which helped to facilitate the swap. The deal also gives Tehran access to almost $6 billion in frozen funds. Washington has rejected criticism that releasing the money amounts to paying a ransom. It said the funds will be used by Iran for humanitarian purposes only. I'm joined now by Cornelius Adebar, a political analyst with the German Council on Foreign Relations based in Italy. He specialises in the foreign and security policy of Iran and the Persian Gulf. Welcome to DW News. So there's been praise as well as criticism of this deal. What's your take on it? I think the mixed picture that we can see here is very much justified. On the one hand, uh, of course, uh, having hostages uh, released, uh, prisoners uh, that were held unjustly uh, in Iran uh, is good on humanitarian grounds. Um, it's been long overdue. Um, but uh, the aftertaste, of course, remains that here uh, a deal has been made um, trading these uh, unjustified prisoners against uh, Iranians um, that were um, put in prison in the United States, plus releasing money uh, that was due to Iran. Um, it's also the timing that is unfortunate. Um, it's just uh, shortly after the first anniversary of the death of Masajina Amini and the protests that followed, and of course the opening of the UN General Assembly. So it makes Iran look better than it should these days, uh, given all that is going on inside the country. Now, in terms of those unfrozen funds that Iran can now access, how will it be possible to track how the money is actually used? Well, the details uh, should be uh, made in that agreement, and, and they are probably kept uh, secret between the United States, uh, Qatar, which is involved, uh, and Iran. Uh, what we can assume is that, uh, especially the American side, uh, also putting pressure on Qatar, uh, they have an interest in uh, not seeing these funds being uh, diverted uh, to any other than, than humanitarian purposes. Uh, mind you that uh, U.S. sanctions, which are still in place today, uh, they all contain a humanitarian exception. So under normal uh, U.S. law, it wouldn't be possible anyway to use uh, money or to trade with Iran outside of humanitarian um, uh, areas. Uh, but this is something uh, which will probably see um, heightened uh, scrutiny um, on the side of the United States. Uh, the Iranians claim that the money has been given to them because it's owed to them uh, and they can use it uh, for whatever purposes they want. Uh, but they couldn't also say anything else to their home uh, audience. Um, so the, the future will tell us what exactly can be done with that money. Let's speak a little bit about uh, what could come out of this deal. Could we perhaps even see talks taking place between the United States and Iran? Well, what we had seen just now is, is indirect talks mediated uh, by a third party. Party. Um, Oman was also involved. Qatar, have I already mentioned. Um, so the good sign again about this uh, agreement is that both the United States and Iran seem to be willing uh, to lower the temperature. Uh, they both seem to be willing uh, to no longer uh, opt for confrontation. Uh, on the Iranian side, we can also see um, a reaching out to neighbors like Saudi Arabia um, and uh, establishing uh, diplomatic relations uh, with Saudi Arabia. Um, so all in all, what we do see is uh, that some tensions have been lowered. Uh, again, that's that's a good thing. Uh, the uh, nuclear deal still remains unresolved. Um, this is the, the bigger issue, which is in the background. Uh, we did see in parallel these stocks uh, some, some attempts uh, to uh, also uh, get back to the restrictions of the deal. Um, Iran right. uh, drawing back some of it in, in nuclear activities. But this is, uh, again, something which will take some more time. Cornelius Adabar, a political analyst specialising on foreign and security policy in Iran and the Persian Gulf. Thanks for being on DW News today. Thank you.